Hi everyone, okay, so I am back and I wanted to share with you guys some things that I've been working on. Uh, I know Anna Fallas always calls them the this and that video and woot woot. So I don't know, you can call it whatever you want, but I'm going to show you guys things that I have worked on. I know I did show you guys before the bows that I had made, but this time I bought this, sorry for the glare, the MFT Stamps um, Dynamics Bow um uh, bow dye it was um i bought it at my local scrap store i think it was like 25 dollars for the for it so i went ahead and i purchased that and uh, this saturday i worked on some bows and these are just the back part of the smaller bow which is oh let me see if i can find a small bow this part of the small bow so i just cut the feet and you know the back part and I just put them there and then these are the ones that I made and here I used this collection I used was the um, die cut with a view paper pad these were just scraps that I had and then of course I put again these pretty blings and I also used these that I had also just hoarding and then I wanted to make some lilac ones because I had the purple and I hadn't really used them so I went ahead and I bought at the scrap store this paper which is a secret garden and then I just made some using the front part of the paper and then the back and then here's another one and here's another one and like I said I just you know it was just for fun to make the bows and then I bought also this is I actually I didn't buy this I had this this is the botanical um, paper and I went ahead and I just cut one of the sheets up and I made some more bows with it this is with the botanical. This is with the die cut with a view one. Again, botanical. And then you can mix them. You know, this is a small bow on top of a large one and then the back part. And this is just the large, another small with the large in the back. This is just the large alone with the back part. And they're just so pretty to have, I guess, in a bowl, bowl like I have mine. And then I plan, I also plan to send some out too. A couple of people in my in racks and you know I gave them to some of the girls at the scrap store and stuff so that's that these are, the, these are the rest so as you can see my pile is pretty big this one's really pretty this paper is that um, die cut with a view paper I don't remember what it's called but it's really pretty okay then I also had purchased at the local scrap store they had a garage sale and I sold a bunch of my stuff that's why I've been buying the buys and the the dies, and I bought the Sizzix machine, and I bought the um, the magnetic plate to hold this to hold this die because a lot of times you use these dies and they move when you pass them through the machine. So I bought the magnetic plate, which was forty dollars, but it's great because it doesn't let them move. So at the garage sale, the girl had these um, pins, but they were only this part, the top part here. I added the beads to these so I made these four and then I added to them let me turn them around angels and dragonflies and then I also went and made oops, sorry guys I just hit the camera I bought this thing here I bought this at a um, at Michaels it was $4.99 this cross I should have put a paper behind it this cross here and I bought them for like my dangles and stuff. These are the ones that Nurse Tara sent me. I love these beads. And this is one of my small uh, Fourth of July chunky charms. So I went ahead and I put, let me bring the camera down. Sorry guys. I went ahead and I put my dragonflies, which I made a lot more of these the other night. And I also made a bunch of these angels. Let me just grab a couple of them so you guys could see them. I made a couple of these angels also. So that is that. That, as you can see, the bowl is pretty much full. Then I went and I bought the Mod Podge. These little um, jewels, not the jewels, the little birdies. These are for from Mod Podge, and I went ahead and I purchased them. They were seventy percent off, so I purchased two packages, and I made some bottle cap charms, and I hung them from these um, mason jar um, paper die cut. Um, dies that I had cut I put them and I hung them there so I have those there 
And then I, I went out and I bought the little EK Success um, punch that's the mason jars. And I went ahead and I started punching some out. And as you can see, I punched out a bunch of them. I just sat there watching the soccer game. And I just punched, you know, I punched them out and I just, I doubled them though. And I went ahead and, and um, I, I started put, I did put the little, you know, things that I wanted on them. The little embellishments. Uh, sorry guys, I'm tongue twisted today. But then I plan to put the twine on them in different colors and then I cut these little tags out. So as you can see, I've only finished three of them or four. Here's a fourth one. And then I have a lot more to make and finish up and Halloween and Anna this is one of the little flowers that you sent me so I used it I didn't hoard it and these and then as you can see I have a full bag here that I also need to finish and then the other thing that I worked on were these charms and these are uh, Disney ones what I did is this is a fabric that I had I, put, I cut it in a circle and I made some bottle, bottle caps. And here is Donald. Sorry for the glare, guys. Let's see if I can do it this way. And then I just hung. Like the colors that it had, I tried to hang some beads from. Let me show you the ones. This one's just one of, I used one of Mickey's feet. That one. Here's another Donald. And here's Goofy. And I did sell the ones that I'm missing because I had like, I think it was nine of them. Yeah, so I sold four of them at the scrap store this weekend. So that is that. And then let me show you guys the, I've been using the crystal lacquer instead of the glossy accents. I was also using this gallery glass for my bottle caps. But I've noticed that this crystal lacquer it doesn't run and it dries. I mean, I leave it to dry 24 hours, but it doesn't bubble. So if you guys can find this, I bought it at my local scrap store. Actually, I bought three bottles. Um, go ahead and, and purchase it because I like it better than the glossy accents. I think the glossy accent bubbles too much. So that's why I've been using this one. So I hope you guys enjoy what I've been working on. And I will be back with the little banners that I started that Anna Fallis, um showed. I'll be back with those to show you what I've done with mine. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.